The materials you'll need to build this homemade cassette recorder is an old recording head, but before you leave in frustration thinking that you're going to have to pay money to get one of these, it doesn't even have to be this. It could be a homemade electromagnet where the head will be pushed up against the cassette. You're going to also need a base to hold everything together. You'll need at least four alligator clips, a whole buttload of rubber bands, a source of sound. I'm going to disconnect the speaker and connect my electromagnet or the recording head to the this. And of course, your cassette. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is get your base and get your cassette where you're going to put it down and hold it there with a bunch of rubber bands. And there we go. And our cassette is mounted on there. Okay, so next what you're going to want to do is match your recording head right here at the base, at the center of your tape. But to prove to you guys that the electromagnet works, I'm going to use this instead. And we're also going to use a rubber band to hold it down. Okay, so before we go on to the next step, I want to tell you guys something. I do not want you guys connecting this, the recording head, to, like, say, your headphones in your phone or computer. It is not strong enough. The voltage there is, like, a puny few volts. I need at least 7 to 9 volts, because what comes out of the speaker and through these wires is about 9 volts. So I need you guys to have at least 9 volts or 7 volts. Okay, so now to the next step. What you're going to want to do is get your radio or any source that has a strong enough speaker coming through these wires and then connect those up and then after that's done, turn the power on No, oh, I don't like this station okay, any station would do and then you got that hooked up, and then on to the next step. Now one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video is to have something to be able to turn this end right here counterclockwise. And I would definitely, definitely recommend an uh, electric motor, but I do not have any batteries or motors that go slow enough, so I have to hand wind it with the fat end of the pencil. So then, now let's turn this on. And stick this and adjust it, and then start spinning. While you wait for that, here's a schematic of the cassette. All right, that should be good enough. And then, sadly, though this machine cannot, sadly though this machine cannot um, play back, what you're going to need is you're going to need a real tape um, tape player. This is only a tape recorder, not a tape player. If the, if that would, then I'd be showing you how to build a circuit of some sort. But this is as simple as I can make it. And so let's bring it over to the tape player in the family room.
Well, that's the recording. You can make the audio better by using a motor and knowing what the speed is and then fixing it to that, to RPM. And, but for now, that's all I have to show you guys, and I hope you can try this out yourself. And until then, goodbye.